Hi guys, this is Shiva Reddy. In this session, I am going to explain uh, Java interview question and answers on the hash map. So as you know, one, uh, in the collections, hash map is the one of the uh, most important uh, concept which is going to frequently used in the real time applications. Hence, in this session, I am going to explain in detail about the different type of the uh, map implementations and how to use it. And uh, uh, this session is really going to help you to crack the Java interviews on the hash map. So first, le let us see what is meant by a map implementation. Basically, map will maintain the key and value pair relationship and it is going to be used as a key and value key and value as a pair that is the uh, main terminology we use for the map so map have a, we have a different implementation hash map linked hash map first let us see the what is meant by hash map so hash map is going to uh, maintains the key and value pairs and uh, here it is not synchronized that means this is not the thread safe and also this is going to allow only one null key and, uh, uh, and only one null key that is the main definition of the hash map and also whatever the elements uh, you are uh, putting to the hash map it is not going to maintain the order so that means whatever the elements you are going to add to the hash map you cannot expect the order will be there so that is the basic implementation of the hash map so now i am going to explain this concepts using an example so here if you see i have created a hash map and added few elements to it so when i run this program you can uh, see that hash map does not maintain the hash map does not maintain the order in which we have inserted for example if you see here the key is one two and so on but it does not maintain the exact order how you have inserted uh, how you have put it to the hash map and the second one is it is going to allow the one null key that means you can say that hash map dot put null comma null comma you can value as a testing you can put only one null value here okay so when i run this program again you can see the output for this program as null so it is going to allow only one null key for this um, for the hash map so that is the basic definition about the hash map hash map is going to maintain the key value and it does not maintain the insertion order and also it is not the synchronous that means whatever the elements you are going to add to the hash map is not the thread safe and also it is going to allow only one null, value, null uh, key and values okay so this is about the hash map now let us see the different implementation what is the linked hash map so linked hash map is is the same as the hash map except that it is going to maintain the insertion order in the case of linked hash map in which order you are going to insert uh, the elements to the uh, hash map the same order it is going to maintain for example in this scenario i am going to changing this hash map to uh, implementation to the linked hash map and if you see the linked hash map and i am running this program again so when I run this program, you can see that in which order you inserted the elements, the same order you are going to see here. For example, in the first case, I have, add, uh, I have added null and testing and then test one and value one and then key and so on. So the same order it has maintained. So the basic difference between the hash map and linked hash map is hash map does not maintain the insertion order, but in the case of um, uh, in the case of linked hash map, it is going to maintain the insertion order and then if you see the next implementation of the hash map is the tree map okay so tree map what the tree map is going to do is a tree map is going to maintain the it is going to sort the base uh, it is going to be give the sorted map implementation so and also it is going to be uh, maintains the uh, sorting based on the key whatever the key you are going to provide by default it is going to provide the natural ordering based on the key so now what i am doing here is instead of uh, linked hash map i am going to use the tree map tree map is going to return you the sorted implementation for the map so i am running this program again now you can see that 
sorry sorted map it does not uh, sorry tree map does not allow null because it needs to be sorted based on the key so key should not be null so now if you run this program you can see that sorting is also based on the key if you see the order key 1 key 2 key 3 key 4 key 5 key 6 key 7 8 9 and then test 1 because it is going to sort based on the key whatever the provided you have so these are the three different implementations uh, uh, we have seen and then you can see uh, what is meant by concurrent hash map concurrent hash map what it is going to um, the basically concurrent hash map is going to be a uh, thread safe the first concept is it is going to be thread safe and it is not uh, it does not allow the uh, dub uh, sorry it does not allow the um, null values in the um, null values in the hash map and also it is the thread safe that means it is uh, it is we cannot call it a synchronous but it is a thread safe that means in the case of concurrent hash map the locking mechanism will be applied at the uh, segment level segment level is nothing but when we say hash uh, hash map internally it is going to be maintained in the form of the buckets so whenever you add elements to the bucket the ha concurrent hash map will make a locking mechanism such a that it is going to be locked only portion of the uh, portion of the uh, segment so that multiple threads can at a time parallelly can execute in such a way that all are in thread safe so that is type of implementation it is there so currently uh, concurrent hash map is going to be the uh, thread safe environment or you can say whatever the elements you are putting into the uh, concurrent hash map those are the thread safe and uh, it has a better performance when compared to the hash table and the synchronized uh, hash map because hash table will acquire the lock on the complete hash table object but in the case of concurrent hash map this equ uh, equation of the lock is at the uh, at the uh, bucket level so that is what the basic difference between the uh, hash map and the concurrent hash map so concurrent hash map even does not allow the null value but hash map will allow the null value so that is the difference i am executing this one you will see that null point exception because concurrent hash map does not allow the null values and also it will it is a thread safe and the concur, uh, concurrent utilities will make sure that multiple threads are parallelly trying to access also it is going to be taking the locks at the segment level by make sure that it is in the thread safe that is the uh, what is uh, that is about the concurrent hash map now one more thing we have uh, that is uh, that we call as a collection store synchronized map and uh, here how we are going to um, specify uh, synchronized here is first we are going to create a hash map okay so i am going to create the hash map and once i done it what i can do is I can put the uh, synchronized on top of it. That means collections dot synchronized synchronized map, and we can pass the hash map here. Hash map. So now what uh, this means is it is um, it is almost um, same as the hash table except that uh, the hash map still allow the uh, one key as a null value but in the case of hash table it does not allow the null null values so that's different still be still it will be there apart from that it is going to be now whatever the hash map you are creating using the collection dot sort um, synchronized map now this will become the synchronized uh, it is going to be the synchronized that means this will be the thread safe but still this is going to allow the null values whatever we are trying to add to this map still it will allow the null values that is the um, that is the what it is uh, meant by collection dot synchronized map and then weak hash map weak hash map in uh, what exactly it means is whatever the elements you are adding to the weak hash map this will be um, collected by the garbage collector once whatever the objects were putting into the hash map no longer required that means whatever the um, keys are the values you are key value pair you are adding to the hash map it will make sure that once uh, the java program does not uh, referencing any of these key or the value pair then automatically garbage collector will be collected those uh, uh, key and value pair 
so whenever you have a requirement in your project it is just for key value once uh, no longer uh, no longer used by the key value pairs then if you want to uh, collected by the garbage collector then you can define those um, those uh, map as a weak hash map so that is about the different implementation of the uh, map implementation hash map linked hash map tree tree map concurrent hash map and uh, uh, weak hash map now let us see what are the few differences between the hash map versus hash table okay, as i told you hash map will allow the one null, uh, null null as a key and hash table does not hash table is going hash map is going to um uh, is is it uh, not is synchronized uh, say, uh, hash table is going to be the synchronized and uh, when you compare the performance hash map will have the higher performance because it does not implement the synchronization um, by default whereas the uh, hash table is going to be um, a little bit slower when compared to the hash map now let us uh, see the difference between the hash map and the concurrent hash map in the case of hash map it is going to allow the one null as a key but in the case of concurrent hash map it does not and whatever the iterator you are going to uh, create on top of hash map it is fail fast that means whenever you um, do the iteration once you do the structure change then if you are trying to traverse then it is going to be fail but in the case of concurrent hash map it is the fail safe so uh, even though you do the iteration it will not have any problem okay then uh, uh, then what is the difference between hash map and collections dot synchronized so hash map is not a thread safe but is in the case of collection dot synchronized hash map is going to be the sing, uh, thread safe and uh, still it is going to allow the null and the synchronized hash map also it will allow the null except that whenever you uh, do any operation read or write operation it will be acquired the lock on the hash map itself instead of that but in the case of uh, concurrent hash map the equation of the lock is on the only portion of the uh, hash map based on the buckets so that the performance of the uh, performance of the concurrent hash map is more when compared to the uh, uh, when compared to the hash map of collection dot synchronized hash map or hash table so this is the basic difference between the uh, this uh, hash map hash table concurrent hash map and uh, synchronized hash map now what happens if i if a user is trying to put more than one key uh, key more than two more than uh, one or two elements with the same key then what happens is always the latest value is going to be uh, is going to be replaced uh, um, replaced uh, with uh, replaced uh, the old value that means for example here i am saying like key one i am going to add one more um, element to the hash map and uh, i will say this is the value 3 now what hash map is going to do is this value is going to be uh, uh, this value is going to is 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 replaced uh, with the uh, this value is going to override the old value so when i run this program now you can see the output as now you can see the output as the key 1 if you see key 1 right there is this key one key one key one see key one value is going to be the value three so that means when you trying to add the same key with the multiple values then the latest value is going to be uh, the, the final one which it is going to be stored okay now uh, let us see and one more question see can we add more than uh, one nil, uh, null keys in the hash map so it always allows only one null key but even if you are trying to add the uh, more than one null also what it is going to do is it is going to override the uh, latest value with the latest value overrides the old value so now if i run once again now what happens see you can see only one value with the null for example null if you see here this is going to be the only one value so always you can add as many nulls as you want but a uh, hash map is going to consider only one null in, in the for the entire hash map and the uh, next question is going to be the how you can measure the performance on a hash map so the performance of the hash map is basically depends on the two factors one is the load fa uh, load factor and the second one is okay, hash map so second one is based on the it is it is going to be measured based on the two th uh, two things one is uh, load factor load factor and the second one is about the initial capacity initial 
capacity so these are the two two um, two functionalities which is going to measure your uh, performance of the hash map so load factor is basically tells you about the how much uh, uh, what is the percentage of for example by default load factor will be the 0.75 that means once you are keep on adding the elements to the hash map once it reaches the 0.75 then the hash map uh, is going to do the rehashing and it is going to double the size of the hash map and second one is initial uh, initial capacities as I explained hash map internally maintains the uh, maintains the bucket concept so initially it is going to create a 16 buckets that is uh, is equivalent to 2 to the 4 of 4 so later if you are trying to add few more elements to it then uh, what happens is once it a load factor reaches its um, load factor reaches then the capacity is the it is going to increase the hash map size that we will call as a rehashing and also the performance is basically based on the key ha uh, hash code how you are going to generate so based on the hash code as long as hash code is distributed properly uh, in a in such a way that with the sing it the hash code is unique for the all the uh, key and values keys which are inserted in the hash map then for the getting and putting in the hash map the performance is going to be order of one okay so order of one is going to be for the getting or the uh, storing an element in the hash map hope these are the most frequently used um, uh, ask the interview questions uh, on on the concept of map and um, if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video thanks for watching please do subscribe to get my uh, to get more technical videos